North Korea is readying two intercontinental ballistic missiles to nuke Donald Trump's inauguration, it's been reported. Military officials say that the rogue state wants to send a strategic message to the incoming U.S. president by timing launches to ruin his big day on Friday. In a statement, South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff said that reports could not be confirmed but said that the military was monitoring the situation closely. However, according to news reports in South Korea, two missiles have already been placed on mobile launchers. The devices are estimated not to exceed 15 meters or 50 feet in length, making them shorter than the North's existing ICBMs. A news agency quoted unnamed military officials as saying that the North was attempting to send Donald Trump a message ahead of his inauguration on Friday. An ICBM test in the coming days is highly plausible, according to a professor at Seoul's Cookman University, they told CNN. Judging by earlier behavior, they usually like to greet a newly elected American president with some kind of nice surprise like a nuclear test or a missile launch, he said. Because President-elect Trump tweeted that it won't happen, such a launch could be seen as a serious humiliation for the U.S. Now, the news comes as satellite imagery shows increased activity at a major North Korean nuclear site, according to the new report. Military experts predicted that any test would only involve a missile with a range of under 2,500 kilometers or 1,550 miles, less than half the usual ICBM range of 5,500 kilometers or 3,400 miles. A U.S.-based monitoring project, 38 North, said evidence suggested that they may be preparing to resume operations at a plutonium production reactor at the Yongbong Nuclear Scientific Research Center, about 90 kilometers north of the capital, or 55 miles. Stepped up activities throughout the nuclear facility indicated that it is operating at a level of somewhat above what has been observed during the past five years, the report said. The exact implications of that activity remain unclear, except to reaffirm that the facility remains the center of North Korea's nuclear program. Now, plutonium from the reactor is believed to have been used in North Korea's nuclear weapons test, according to a U.S. government report. Now, traditional nuclear weapons use plutonium as their main fuel. The Fat Man bomb the U.S. dropped on Nagasaki used 14 pounds of plutonium, producing a blast equivalent to about 21,000 tons of TNT. Now, Trump has vowed to tackle the North Korean problem once he is in power. North Korea is sending messages to the U.S. in various ways in a bid to put pressure on the U.S. to shift its policy toward North Korea, said an official at Seoul's Unification Ministry. What do you think? Is North Korea just simply saber rattling or are they going to launch their nuclear test on Donald Trump's inauguration day? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.